Welcome to the testing world. Now we are going to start with different type of steps which we can use in Ready API. So previously, if you remember, I'll just move to my project. Previously, if you remember when we are adding a step, so normally we have used SOAP request and REST request to send request to the server. Also, if you remember, we have seen properties where we are defining the property and we can use it in our test case. So these are the three common steps that we have seen previously. But if you can see, we are having many steps over here. So now I'll explain many more steps which you are going to use while working on Ready API. We are not going to cover all, but we will cover most of the steps which are required while working on the API testing. Okay, so I'm starting with delay test step. If you can check it over here, we are getting a delay step. Okay. Now, first of all, what is the requirement of delay test step? So I can say if you want to pause your script somewhere for some seconds, so you can apply delay step. Okay, what's the requirement? Let me just go back to the project again. If I say after fetching the student data, I want to pause here for five seconds, only after that it will send an update request. And I would say that is the requirement of my application means when we are adding the student, we cannot update the data immediately. We can update data only after five seconds. So I'm just taking that's the requirement of your API. So in this scenario, what you want to do after making an ad or I'll say before running this update, I want to wait for five seconds. So what I can do, I'll just go here and add one more step with the name delay test step okay you can give any name or i can give like wait for five or i can just say 10 seconds you can give any name to the step as i added by default the step would be added at the end if you can see that is at the end but i want to execute the delay before updating so i'll just drag this step and drop here so now what will happen it will add a student then these two steps will execute then it will fetch student data and after that it will wait for 10 seconds but by default it is applied for one second you can check it 1000 which is 1000 milliseconds i have to change it i'll just double click on this window gets open how many milliseconds you want to wait I want to wait for 10 seconds. I'll say 10,000 milliseconds. Just click on OK. Wait is added in the script. Okay. Now I want to execute my test case. So I'll just go to the test case level. And here you will notice here when I execute this, please notice this step. So as I execute and as it moves to the wait, you can check it here. It is waiting for 10 seconds and time is reducing like 3972 so it is waiting for 10 seconds over here once 10 seconds is over it execute remaining steps so i can say while executing your automation test cases or i'll say a api automation test cases if you want to pause somewhere for some seconds we can put delay for that delay is the step for it and as of now we apply only one delay okay what i do after deleting the student, my application will take 15 seconds to delete that student. So only after the 15 seconds, make a fetch request. So what I can do, I can add one more delay step. And this time I'm give, giving like wait for delete and it's 15 seconds. Okay, this name could be anything. I'm just giving them some sample names, okay. Again, it is added at the end. I want to put it before this fetch, before this second last step. So I'll just drag and drop here. So one more thing you have to understand, these steps will execute in the same order in which they are placed. Okay, now again, it is by default showing one second. I'll just make it 15,000 milliseconds. Now executing. Here it is waiting for 10 seconds. Let it complete the 10 seconds first. 
now after moving to this delay now here it is waiting for 15 second and after that it will go to the next step so here we can see by these delays we can add pause in our test cases and it is not mandatory to add these if it is required you can use it else you can skip it so here in this session we have seen what is delay and what is the use of delay test step that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video